Hello, my name is Russell Preston Brown from Adobe, and this quick tutorial is all about working with the new powerful generative AI technology called Adobe Firefly that is now natively integrated into Adobe Photoshop. It's magical and non-destructive. This generative fill feature is now in the public beta version of Photoshop. You can install it from the Creative Cloud on your desktop and give it a try. Okay. Here's some tips and techniques on selections that you need to know. I want to create a spaghetti Western out of this image. I'm going to select the lasso in this case with the lasso tool and turn it into spaghetti. To do that, I make a selection and enter in the word spaghetti. But in this case, with the selection, I get whole wheat spaghetti. If I make a completely different type of selection, I can get semolina spaghetti. That's how powerful the selection is for getting the best results. So how did I do this? First of all, I did not make a square selection like you see here. The results by making a square selection and entering the word spaghetti here, then selecting generate will give you the results that look like this. It'll give you the semolina pasta, but it's not in the shape of the lasso. The correct way to do this is to make a selection in this case around the lasso in the shape of the lasso. But check this out. A portion of the lasso is not included in my selection. This will then make this portion of the lasso become an integrated part of the final results. So when I select generate, it will then create whole wheat spaghetti because it's blending the colors and texture of the lasso into the final results. Pretty cool. If I make a completely different type of selection you see here, and I make sure that all of the rope is inside of the selected region, then it will exclude that and not make it part of the results and you will get semolina pasta. Wow, that is powerful. You can continue this project and select different portions of your image to create a variety of crazy new combinations. Check this out, give it a try, and remember the selection is the most important part of working with the new generative fill feature.